not provided. We move quickly to page 21. Virtual server image. All agents were interested in knowing the virtual server creation date. It was established that both the creation and modified date for the image was 31st August 2022, though the technical team at IBC could not locate the correct data store for the image. Very important. Page 22. The agent requested IBC to provide certified copies of penetration tests conducted before and during the election. IBC director, ICT director and IBC advocate provided certified penetration tests conducted before the election. IBC advocate informed the applicants that IBC did not carry out penetration tests during the election period, citing penetration tests are not conducted during the election. That is very important and I ask the court to find out why it's important to conduct penetration tests. At page 24, it was asked, it was noted that the containers running in the virtual machine are actual computers. IEBC declined to share further details on the containers. Ask your expert why they refused and they'll tell you. At page 25, what was the IEBC password policy on the server? The response captured by the registrar. IEBC could not display for security reasons. Number 31, the agent wanted to know why the user says logs in from server 192.168.95.64. There was no proper explanation for this issue. The agent requested to know if the antivirus or anti-malware was installed. IBC did not respond. What am I trying to say? Just even from the basic information that was provided to the agents for the scrutiny, IBC successfully exposed how vulnerable our system was. And for the first year, IT students, I'll give you, they can take down note what IBC gave as the memory, the capacity of the server that was provided. Memory was 6.4 GB, clock speed was 9.84 GHZ, hard disk was 300 GB. The server specifications that they provided us with is less than even the laptops that we're using here. That is what they are presenting to us, that they were hosting the entire election infrastructure in these elections. It was not possible. Why I put that image? It's very important we know. I talked about the middleman. Diego, Armando, Camargo. Distributing results. That is the person who you are not allowed to see. That is the person who when the Supreme Court makes an order to be allowed complete access, to be provided the password policies, that is the Diego Comago who we are being told you cannot access him. That back office, polling station goes to him. He's the one who sends to the returning officer. He's the one who turns to the National Returning Center. He's the one who sends to the public portal. He's the one controlling everything. He's the midfielder distributing to everybody the results of this election. What he says are the results. You can now remove the portal. You can remove it, please. Having said that, we must note that as the world evolves, technology in elections also evolves. Previously, when my learned senior, James Orengo, was running in 1979 in Ugenya, people used to stuff ballots and run away with them physically. Progressively, they start changing forms. Now, elections are stolen on technology. That's why I said machines are voting for us. I refer you to a case that I've mentioned in my authorities, Dr. W versus the German Bundestag, where the Germans ask themselves, are the Germans really voting or machines are choosing our leaders? And they said, if the technology does not meet the thresholds of our constitution, do away with that technology until it conforms. In this particular case, we've demonstrated through the registrar's report that the technology that we deployed in this election, even this Supreme Court cannot access it. This Supreme Court order was countermanded by the letter which I have referred to, dated 31st of August. We would like to clarify that such images contain software owned and copyrighted by Expertmatic and is thus IP protected. Providing full access will infringe our intellectual property rights. This court can make orders even to our most highest national intelligence bureau. And those intelligence agencies have provided to our courts undercover or confidentiality 
their intelligence reports. Why can't Smartmatic do it? Why are they ignoring the court order? Why are they saying we will not give you? Then they go to Venezuela or wherever they are and keep it to themselves. Are we going to ignore it? I pray that we do not. If it reaches a point that elections are not transparent even to the Supreme Court, and I draw inspiration to the provisions of our laws that provide once a petition is filed, the entire infrastructure of that 